it's Scott from Sacred Mob Games and upload a new analog horror play playtime video. Now whether you like the actual game or not, I think we can all agree, the analog horror videos based on the game are really good. They're generally scary and entertaining, so let's just react to this. This one's gonna be mainly about Brawn, the Brachiosaurus. So, oh wow, that... Whoa, this has production! Test subject is 59-year-old Thomas Clark, a full-time employee at Playtime Co. Since There's lore in these two, by the way. Oh, you won't mention that. Six months ago, he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Now, Mr. Clark of Sound Mind has volunteered for this experiment. We have eye movement. Can you hear us, Thomas? Oh, look 1199 at 99 displayed much more disorientation than we expected. Subsequent mental testing metrics huh. also cut practically. Well, this now. proves that this this proves this our theory. Part, or I guess I don't believe he I don't pay pay play time anymore on the channel. What's happened to him? But I have to keep up with the lore. Worse, the other they are making the humans in the toys. I was everyone was right. I did theorize that on my first playthrough of the game. If you guys really want to play more of the game, I will too. But chapter two. Because part don't so I won't. Man, look at the hat! Oh, that's... Uh... Oh, no! That's not very they good. They have killed him had the research team not intervened, and even then, there was still significant damage to the internal structures with some of the anatomy, namely the larynx and the thyroid, having been completely devoured. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize 1199. We keep him separated from the others now. Look at him just sitting there. Aww. It was like a sad awe. It sounded like a happy awe, but it was very sad. Um, wow. Wow. Like, no other game company is doing this. Whether it's horror or not, no other company like doing this kind of stuff. So if you don't like mob games and do kind of a shady past, um, you gotta respect them for what they're actually doing. You know, they're doing something different. They're doing something unique. Something that, yeah, not really any other thing the company does. But, like, so what do you say about this video? I thought it was pretty entertaining. Best so now, bye bye, Scarlet. Okay, jumping in here, we have another one to react to. This came out 12 days ago. It's a Project Playtime employee safety video, and I somehow missed this. Well, I didn't miss it. I remember seeing it. I remember thinking, okay, I've got to react to that pretty soon, but I just forgot about it. So I guess now is a good time as any to react to it. So let's get into this. Let's go. Let's go, Project Playtime code, some, 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 whatever. 1991, employee safety video. Oh, you can tell it's from the 90s. Look at that. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Oh, hello. You must be our new employee. Well, gee, welcome. Come on in. I bet you're super excited you. to start having fun, making fun for kids around the world. Very excited. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going there, buddy? I prove this guy's here. It's exciting, but before we can get you up there on the factory floor, we've got to talk about safety, huh? That's fair. Oh, is that That's a puppet? Right, because my pal Huggy says that fun is just one part of fundamentally understanding the need for awareness. Hold on one second, guys. Friendliness, timeliness, Look, buddy, you can in. regulating yourself. I know, right? So, come on, let's get started. I have a puppet. I swear, I swear it's a puppet. I, I, now I'm interested in this. Rule number one. Ooh, soap. Always be sure to wash your hands before you enter oh, of course, the right, huggy? floor. Grubby yeah, right. hands mean grubby toys. And at Playtime Co, we like our toys nice and clean. Of course. Huggy gets it. Is, it's, now, it's a puppet. Rule number two. That's awesome. Everybody's excited to get home after a hard day's fun. But you must never leave your station for any reason before the bell rings. Not without permission from a supervisor. And there will be no <laughs> overtime. I guess it isn't a little bit of mine, but I still love you, buddy. Fun takes focus. No distractions. When on the factory floor, please try to remain as quiet as possible. Superfluous auditory impositions on the environment may result in disciplinary action. Number 
for. Oh. Well, this is funny. I know you'll all want to go and tell all of your friends about the exciting goings on here at Playtime Co. But you know what's even more exciting? Why are the NDA rules laid out in section 3, page 42 of your Playtime Co. employee handbook, of course? The Not breach of which will result in termination. We don't want that. Oh, oh God! There, Huggy. <laughs> Not that kind of termination. <laughs> Rule number five. You must report anybody you see not following these rules to your supervisor. That includes this Makes rule. Sense. Anyone observed to not be reporting rule breaking they are currently observing has been observed to be breaking a rule and should be reported immediately. Quickly, before somebody well, reports okay. you. Rule number six. Smile, you're on camera. For your safety, we keep a watchful eye on everybody here at Playtime so Co. Any attempt to interfere with Playtime Co. <laughs> that is awesome, I love that. an immediate termination. Oh. And speaking of Playtime Co. equipment, oh, okay. how about those grab packs, eh? Rule number seven. Our handy helpers may seem fun, but not everything in a toy factory is a toy. Always be sure to exercise caution when operating your grab pack around heavy machinery. I thought they used well, the things from the um, first up. game. Same cutscene stuff. In a tangle. Oh. Oh. Serious injury, death, or dismemberment may occur. If you're experiencing hallucinations or it's funny, right? It's funny. you must report to your on-duty playtime position right away. <laughs> Reports of noxious and or hazardous materials used in the production of our toys are both entirely fabricated and highly exaggerated. So if you're sure. feeling under the weather, try sure. drinking some water or breathing less deeply. Employers are liable for the safety of themselves and those around them. Playtime Co. will not be held accountable for accident, injuries, trauma, physical or mental, or resulting life-altering impairments up to and including death. Rule number nine. Employees oh, are explicitly prohibited from entering restricted areas. Authorization is given on a case-by-case -case basis. And we know and why because the last time, the last year, we know why. No ifs, ands, or buts. Rule number ten. Don't forget to have fun. How many fun. rules are there? God. Working together to bring joy to children around the it's world for the first Playtime game. Co. is a privilege. We just know that if you follow these ten simple rules, you'll be a great addition the, oh, just the to the awful Playtime brain family. family. You can tell by the bottom, it's cut off at the end. On the factory <laughs> floor. We can't wait to see what you become. Good luck on your first day. It's goodbye what from What we become? Me. As in a toy? And it's goodbye from Huggy. Goodbye. Oh, Huggy. <laughs> This is really fun. Not not really scary, just fun. <laughs> is that it? Let me check the time. Video is getting over. Maybe something at the end? A little text? Nope. Nothing? Okay. Well, anyway, guys, this is the actual end of this video. Uh, that was all. I, I love the first one. I also love the second one. And then Huggy Point was pretty amazing, right? Anyways, me and I have to go eat some tea. I don't think that's how that works, whatever. Um, I guess so now. Bye-bye, Skyline Thacker.